During one of her checkups, Margaret started to see her GFR numbers drop. She was worried because she's a registered nurse and she knew what those numbers mean. She talked to her doctor and followed their orders. But the numbers dropped even more. Eventually, she started getting informed by herself and discovered something that made a huge difference. Her GFR is now 58 and she believes it is going to improve even more. Guys, you will never believe what Margaret did to reverse her kidney disease. Catherine here, it's not every day that you hear about people actually reversing kidney disease naturally, but it happens. There are cases documented in medical literature, and there are also kidney disease patients that surprised everyone including their doctors when they were able to improve their kidney function naturally. I've interviewed some of them, I've shared some of their stories with you. And when someone comes to me to say that they reverse kidney disease, I always ask them the same question. What is the single most important thing that helps you the most in reversing kidney disease? Today we're going to see how some of the people I interviewed recently answered this question. And I want to start with the story of a nurse, Margaret. I talked to her via email after she contacted me here on Double O Kidney. Margaret did everything she could to stop kidney disease. Nothing seemed to work until one day she found out about a very unusual remedy. This is her story. How did you find out you have kidney disease? I am a retired nurse, I am 67 years old and there is a history of kidney problems and diabetes in my family. My brother had kidney failure and so did my father. So when I went for my regular checkup in May 2020, my doctor noticed that my EGFR levels were low. They had kind of hovered around 60 before but this time it was 51. My doctor gave me a set of rules. She wanted me to start drinking plenty of water, exercise, stay away from anything that would stress my kidneys like Tylenol or Ibuprofen, any kind of medications. I was also taking metformin which she told me she didn't think that was a problem. I had read in the past that metformin can cause some kidney issues so I decided to get informed about that. And how much did that help you? I did all the things that my doctor ordered and I went back in two months to have my blood work done again. This time my EGFR had gone down even more. It was 43. So at this point, I was really worried. I have that history in my family and I was afraid that this was happening to me. As a retired nurse, I know what those numbers mean and I know that kidney disease usually progresses. It gets worse and worse and so I decided to look out and see what else I could find. She was eventually able to get her EGFR back to 58 which is an incredibly good result. Guys, what she found out, what helped her is amazing and more about her later on in this video. Because there are two other incredible success stories I want to talk about today. The story of Joseph is particularly important for me because it comes with a message of hope. He is one of my subscribers and he was in stage 4 risking dialysis. Now the amazing part, he was able to reverse kidney disease. Here's what he writes. My name is Joseph and I've been diagnosed with CKD 4 years ago. At the time, my GFR was around 27. My labs were a mess and I had no idea anything was wrong. My function was getting worse over time despite all the pills I was taking. I was hovering around 17 or so. This lasted for 3 years until I started following your channel. And what did you find? What helped you the most with your kidney health? I cannot express in words how much hope you gave me. I never knew there are things you can do to slow down kidney disease. I've turned my life around. In just 8 months, I was feeling better than I ever did in the last 4 years. Then I went for a blood test 2 months ago and my doctor was very glad to let me know that my GFR was back at 41. This is one of the most amazing messages I ever received here in Double O Kidney. 
What happened to Joseph is not something you hear about every day and the message here is a message of hope. Joseph was able to get better when he learned about other people reversing their kidney disease through a better lifestyle and diet. Joseph was able to improve when he got his hope back. And never underestimate the power of your mind when it comes to your health. Our next success story is a diabetes patient who was able to stop CKD progression and to manage diabetes. All my life, I have been a person of size who was extremely active. My kidneys have always been fine until a diagnosis of psoriasis led to a regimen of medications which impacted my kidneys. Suddenly, I found myself facing a diagnosis of chronic kidney disease stage 4 and type 2 diabetes. But she wasn't going to let diabetes and kidney disease win. You see, Debra is now safely in stage 3B and she is dedicating her time to teach others how to do this. And the way she is managing her condition is really interesting. So when I ask her, what helped you the most in reversing kidney disease? This was her answer. I started eating more fruit and vegetables, a plant-based diet. Eating a renal diet and eating carefully for diabetes was a challenge because they seemed to be in conflict. I had to be mindful of my potassium and of sugar and this forced me to avoid a long list of foods. My diet became a hobby. Three years ago, I started to gain some weight back and my kidney function was not improving and it was a real struggle for a while to get fresh vegetables. I went back to the renal dietitian in early 2021. I was at a GFR of 13. She recommended I go plant-based. Simple switches made it easy. I went from dairy to almond milk and creamer. I stopped eating eggs totally and no chicken or fish. I tried to use as many natural and processed foods as possible. There were challenges especially because I still had to watch my potassium. I lost more weight and have maintained the weight loss of about 50 pounds now. My husband and I grow some of our own vegetables and fresh herbs. We made our diets into a hobby and now shopping is much more fun instead of restricting. Yes, this is a really amazing story. She was able to reverse kidney disease and to control her diabetes by eating more fruit and vegetables and by getting more knowledgeable about her diet. And in doing so, she and her husband found a new shared interest. There is an opportunity in every crisis, like they say, and Deborah absolutely took her opportunity. Guys, back to Margaret's story. When she found she has kidney disease, she started following her doctor orders, but it didn't work. Her GFR dropped to 43. Then she found something really incredible that helped her get her kidney function back to 60. Margaret, what is the thing that helped you the most? I look on the internet and I did find out about one remedy. I don't recall if I saw it on your channel or on another, but what really struck me was the people it was tested on were having kidney problems and diabetes similar to mine and they started them on this special herb. I'm kind of skeptical about herbs and such as that because I'm in the medical field but I decided that if it doesn't work well, I'll stop. But when I went back to my nephrologist, this time my numbers had gone back up. My GFR was 58. So I was very impressed and I'm still on the herb. Okay, can you tell us more about this herb? It's called Astragalus and I believe it's from Japan. I get it from a naturopath doctor. However, I got another appointment in a couple of months to go back to have my numbers checked again. I'm hoping that there is continuing to go up and I think that they went up because of the astragalus, because nothing else really helped. My lifestyle, my diet has always been good. I'm diabetic so I always watch what I eat and I exercise so the astragalus was the only thing that really changed. I think that's what made the difference. Now, what is astragalus and why was it good for Margaret? Astragalus membranaceus is an adaptogen. This herbal remedy is incredibly effective against diabetes. It's the most frequently prescribed herb for diabetic patients in Japan. And there are studies supporting this property. 
Even more important, it has a direct effect on proteinuria levels at the point that it was used in a Japanese study on stage 4 and 5 kidney disease patients. Those in stage 4 were able not just to significantly improve their kidney function but also to keep the improved levels for more than 12 months. By the way, I did talk about the astragalus in one of my videos. I don't know if Margaret saw it in my channel, but if you want to learn more about astragalus properties and the right way of taking it, my video appears for you. By the way, guys, I know that a lot of you watching me right now had positive, inspiring success stories with kidney disease. So feel free to contact me via the comment section if you want to share your story too. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.